Hey everyone, welcome to your quilting journey. I'm Aunt Rachel. I'm going to interview my friend Terry today about her quilting journey and how she got started with everything. So please comment and um, ask questions and we will pop those questions up for Terry to answer too. And um, yeah, we're gonna have a great time. She is a great friend of mine that um, goes to our church and she took my quilting class last fall and in the spring and made a really pretty quilt with some unique colors. So she has it for us so she can show us. So here we go. Let's welcome Terry. Hi. Hey, Terry. How's it going? Good, good, good. Good. I so tell us a little bit about yourself. Where you were. So I lived. Go ahead. I've lived here in Canada for my whole life. Mm -hmm. um, mine is like the first month and a half, but you know, got here as quick as I could. Yeah. Um, then, um, so I live here, um, my par with my parents and grandma and aunt also live in town and have one brother who lives in South Dakota with his wife and three, their three kids. Mm. And, um, I work at Head Start. Um, been there cool. hmm, 15 years. Wow. So, um, I, I know it doesn't seem like that long, but then <laughs> other days I'm like, I can't, yeah, I can believe it. Yeah. So, so um, funny story. I used to work at Head Start right before you started, right? And then you yep. kind of took over my position and you've been there ever since, you brave soul. <laughs> yes. And oddly enough, it gave me some insight into the classroom chatting with you. Yeah. So, good. <laughs> that means so much from that kid. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Well, who taught you how to sew? Um, well, in high school, there was a lady who was our insurance agent's wife at the time. Oh. And in the building that the insurance company was in, they had a spare a spare room. And so um, my mom decided to sign me up with the insurance agent's wife uh -huh. because she, she realized that she was maybe not the person that needed to teach me how to sew. <laughs> and so, um, and you know, okay, uh, in homeschooling, it gave me that, I don't know, extra credit uh -huh. that we all are supposed to have. Right. And so yeah, I would go down to the yeah, insurance office to take sewing lessons. <laughs> um, her name was Mrs. Hine. And then, yeah, like we, she, would do fa she would do fashion shows for the clothes. And oh, fun. It, it, was, it was a good time. And every so often I see some of the people that we, I that took classes from her mm -hmm. and it's like, yeah, just, just, just a good, good time. A good little community of yeah. kids. Awesome. Um, who taught you how to quilt then? Well, um, this lady named Rachel. Oh, Aunt Rachel here. <laughs> yes. Combination between you and my grandma. Yeah, my grandma makes. Um, when she was younger, she would make like five baby quilts a week. Mm, wow. She slowed, she slowed down a little bit to like two or three, <laughs> but you know, she is eighty-two. Yeah. So, That's a um, lot of quilts. This this is the grandma that she bowls twelve games a week. Oh wow. And, you know, if they gave um Ritalin to eighty-two-year-old women, she'd be a <laughs> prime candidate. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> what made you want to learn how to quilt? Um, a combination of seeing what can be done mm -hmm. through all, like all, all the quilts I've seen and just like wanting to be able to attempt at create, creating something. Yeah. So. Didn't you buy an Amish quilt shortly before taking the quilt class? I did. And I, have, I have that here, oddly oh, enough. Oh, cool. Um, let's see. You can kind of see it right there. Oh, wow. It's um the pattern is called tumbling block. Uh-huh. So the whole beautiful. whole quilt is like all this this whole whole pattern. Mm -hmm. Um and I like before I went to go buy it, I looked on the computer to see what I was drawn to because mm -hmm. you could literally spend days upon days 
in their quilt shops and want to spend your money, my money, your great <laughs> uncle's money, and can going to come great debt. Exactly. And just and you would come away with a, a lot of beautiful quilts. Mm -hmm. And so somebody told me just look online and find something that something that you were drawn to. Mm -hmm. And I kept being drawn to it's called a tumbling block pattern. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so this one would be slightly, you know, slightly larger. But every time every time I would look that was what I was drawn to. So it made the process of finding a quilt there easier. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I really would only need, needed to go to three or four shops. It was just a matter of what color I wanted. Right. I, I really wanted to go teal, but. Um, <laughs> surprise, surprise. Surprise, because that's my favorite. <laughs> but then this one, um, it was just like, I don't know, screaming at me because you could, I could really decorate a bedroom in any color and it would go with that quilt. Yeah, perfect. And so do so, you use it on one of your beds? No, I have not put it on a bed yet because yeah. I mean, this is, I, I paid enough money. It's display purposes still. Yep, good. <laughs> eventually it will make it to a bed. Yeah. But for, for now, you know, uh, uh, it gets to be on the lovely um, display ladder. Yeah, good. So. Well, it's beautiful. It needs to be displayed. So yeah, as soon as the living room gets finished completely, we're going to remodel. You know, oh, then, cool. um, then it can come back out into the display area. Uh huh. I mean, yeah, I, I don't. I don't want construction junk in my in my stuff. <laughs> yeah, right. Don't need to get you know, dust and stuff on it yet. Oh, no, um, yeah, no. I mean, you, you have to specially wash it with you know, follow the steps and uh -huh. take, wow. take care of it. Yeah, good. Um, what was your favorite block to make? My favorite block was, let's see, um, huh, the, the wheel one. Mm-hmm, the wagon because, wheel. Yes. Because, um, well, it was fun, and the probably it was the first block that I was able to completely finish in class. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, I'd struggled most of the, most of the class. Like, I just want to get one done and catch yeah. up with all the achievers. <laughs> and so our classes were only about an hour to start, and then we bumped them up to an hour and a half. For those that don't know, and it still wasn't enough time because we loved just <laughs> hanging out and chatting and working slowly and it wasn't like hurry hurry get your block done it was social time <laughs> it, it, it really was a very much a social time i was the one focused just let yeah. me sew yep, I got yep. It done. you were <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. what's but, that now, now i mean i just mostly stay on task yep but yep. yeah you did well because, because i had to be like i i have to get this done yeah. Um, was there a block that you didn't like? Um, hmm, I had a tough time wrapping my mind around the piecing for Drunkard's Path. Mm -hmm. This was like, my mind was like, I'm just, I couldn't process it. <laughs> Maybe we all needed to have a little wine before doing that one. <laughs> that was it. Right then there. We went together just fine. <laughs> I, I was like Cindy's too. Oh yes, very much. I'll take your word for it. Just t tell me what tell me what I do. Yep. What's the next step? Which way does it go again? <laughs> right. One step at a time. Yep. <laughs> does quilting make you? What does it? What does it do for you? Or how does it make you feel? Um. Well, like what now that I generally know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. it's like okay, yeah, I feel pretty confident that I could, I could do it. I uh -huh. think I could, could make this, this quilt again because like, Oh yeah, this, this is a good process. Yeah. And then like, so, you know, feel, feel pretty good about it now. Now, like I definitely go looking at quilts and I was like, Oh, that's a half square triangle. I can yeah. do that. That's awesome. And that's 
I, I find myself um, yeah, just breaking apart quilts more. It's like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. And <laughs> yeah, but, great. Sure. Um, do you have any unfinished quilt projects or UFOs? Um, no unfinished quilts at this point, but I, I need, I need to find a, a good one to just like, yeah. okay, this is what I'm going to do and I'm going to win. So you need a new one, which yeah. we have coming up soon. So oh, yay. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you're not working on any sewing projects at all right now, or are you doing something different? I have a project that I need to work on. Mm -hmm. Like it definitely, it's a very much an unfinished project. Mm -hmm. um, I have this braided rug oh. that has been sitting at my house for like five years now. Mm -hmm. um, so just the process of s sitting there and braiding it mm. and then lacing it together. Yeah. Wow. It's and you getting it's a, a lot about the braiding part's easy, but when you lace it together, it's all about the getting the tension just exactly right so you don't have like a bowl. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> don't need a bowl to step on. Ex exactly, and <laughs> just sitting sitting down and doing it. Mm -hmm. um, but like the the lady who basically wrote the book on braided rugs is no longer around, mm. but. Yeah, so I don't have that person be like, to go to. Mm -hmm. but, but with with the book, you know, I but I could finish it. Mm -hmm. well, the lady, she was ninety four, oh, so wow. you know, yeah. I don't expect her to be around anymore. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. You have to live forever to help me. <laughs> exactly. Well, and there's enough of us in town who know how to do it that I suppose I could easily find one of them and be like, okay, but what's my next step? Yeah, and, yeah, for sure. There's several of those kind of people in our church too. So you can probably get one. Exactly. Of them. <laughs> um, exactly. Do you listen to anything while you're quilting, like a podcast or music or Audible? A lot of times I'll put on um, Spotify mm -hmm. or like pull up one of my playlists or sometimes like an old movie that I've seen 500 times. Mm -hmm. And there's more back, definitely background noise. Yeah. Yeah. And Something relaxing that you can just zone out to and get your exactly. done. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you have a sewing buddy, like a puppy or a kitty or? <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> I, I need to get me another Maisie. Yeah. Right. Well, she's looking forward to spending time with you here soon. <laughs> Oh, becoming our pet sitter so <laughs> macy will be having fun with you oh for um, sure we're a good where, time yeah where do you do your quilting um well for the quilt the underground railroad i did it at my grandma's house uh -huh. because um my mom's sewing machine was like not she didn't know how to operate it mm. and so she's like don't don't break my machine so go yeah. to your grandma yeah. Okay, fair fair enough. <laughs> right. And so then um my mom's machine is back in the shop. So as soon as that's back, mm. I can sit at, at home in my pajamas and quilt. Yeah. Um, good. <laughs> with my grandma, she has a machine from the fifties, like a feather a featherweight sewing machine. Oh cool. That, that still is in great condition. Mm -hmm. So well, why not? It's easy. It yeah. it goes forward and that's just what I need. Yep. So easy, easy. Just straight stitch. That's all you need. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, you kind of mentioned some of your other hobbies with your braiding your rugs, but any other hobbies you want to mention? Oh, I love playing the piano. Oh, yeah. And reading. And, hmm, what else? So I like to watch hockey, oddly hockey? enough. Yeah, but oh. don't get don't watch that. Yeah, very very much. <laughs> but um, and then hmm, yeah, those are my main main couple ones that I do. I would say, yeah, you are quite the avid reader. How many books have you read so far this year? Oh, it's it's low, very low this year. Oh, yeah. I'm only at forty seven. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Holy cow. 
I am going to listen five. six a year. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I kind of slacked during September, October, and November. Mm. Only read one book per month. <laughs> because only one. Only, only, only one per month. Well, I know. how thick was it? Like this? Oh, you know, about like you know, oh, okay. about three three or four hundred pages. Okay. Focused on doing other other studying for yeah. my trip to, for my trip to Israel. Okay. So yeah. Needed to get Bible studies done before that. So mm -hmm. like, okay. So it's like not completely a waste of time. Yeah. Good. Um, what's one thing that makes you happy lately? Um well, oh, lately it was my trip, my travels have yeah. made me just way, way happy. Yeah. Um, and having time to sit down and read and then reflect on my travels. Mm -hmm. And awesome. So great. I, I just travel. Oh, yeah. Right. That's so awesome that you get to do that. I would love to go to Israel someday. So maybe someday. Someday. <laughs> someday. Get, yeah. get those kids raised and then yeah. you can go. Yeah. Right. Then they can come with me. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for coming on here and let me interview you. I'm You're welcome. So appreciative of you and glad that you were able to take the class this last fall. And um, that was so much fun to have you there. It was a good time. Yeah. Well, have a good night. You too. Talk to you later. Okay. Bye. Bye. All right. Thank you, Terry, for coming on and sharing us, sharing with us your quilting journey. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this interview with her. Um, so our membership is almost completely ready. I know you guys have been waiting. This journey just keeps going and going, but I am working hard to get everything prepared and trying to think of everything that I missed and um, working through it so that you guys don't have to struggle through any of this pattern. So we have the, the fabric, and I did a live on that the other day. So all of Lori Holt's Happy Vintage 2 fabric came in. So that will be in the quilt kit if you decide to get that, as well as, well as five yards of the white background fabric. And this handy little tool is a um, seam so easy is what it's called. And you put this on... Um, the floor of your sewing machine and then you can line up your blocks with the quarter inch line so that you don't have to have a special quarter inch foot or if you're not sure if your quarter inch foot is a true quarter inch because sometimes they're not quite correct um, this will give you that perfect quarter inch seam so this will also be in the quilt kit as well as um, a cute farm girl vintage um, charm for the first 20 people who order the quilt kit will get one of those little charms. They're so cute. So um, the Farm Girl Vintage pattern is going to be available on my website here soon. And it retails for $29.95. But if you become a member, you get 20% off all of this. So if you decide to become a member, you're getting all of this class on how to put this quilt together. Queen size quilt for free. And then um, you must have this book though. So make sure you have one of these. And what else was I gonna share with you? Oh, so something I went through and really broke down the cutting instructions on this quilt to make it a lot easier for you too. So you'll get a PDF of how to cut out your fabric. Um, it breaks it down so that you're cutting just one strip or it'll tell you how many strips of what size and then how to break that down with those strips. It makes it super easy. Once you see it, you'll be like, oh yeah, okay. I know what she's talking about. It's hard to explain it like this without actually showing you, but I can't show you the actual stuff until you become a member. So, <laughs> um, and then I broke down all of the blocks. So the blocks are in alphabetical order, which is really helpful. So you can kind of flip through and find them easily. Um, but we're going to break them down. So you're learning one technique every month or so. So every four weeks, you're going to learn a new technique and um, you can self-pace this. So if you can't get to a block 
one week, that's okay. You can make up it the next week or you can save the video and do it another time. Um, this is totally at your pace. So no rushing, no hurrying. Like Terry was saying, she really rushed through to get her quilt done while she was at class because she didn't have time at home and she had to go to her grandma's house and it was just chaotic. So um, hopefully this kind of a class will help you just to be able to take your time and enjoy the process and really have fun because these blocks are so adorable. They're so fun. So I've been busy cutting out all the fabric, which it just dropped here. Let me grab it. So one way I really like to organize my blocks is in a Ziploc bag or some kind of bag like this. So I will take all of the pieces, which this is another thing I did for you all because this isn't part of the pattern is made a PDF of Avery labels with all of the block pieces, um, the title, what kind of piece it goes with and the letter and number that goes with it and the measurements so that you can order, organize all of your fabric at the same time. So if you want to just get all the cutting done and over with, or if you want to do several blocks at a time, you can organize them in a Ziploc bag with everything already cut. So this one is old red barn block. So I have all of the pieces cut out. So there's a couple of the whites that goes with this block and then um, a couple of these colors. So I've cut into the Happy Vintage 2 already. So isn't that super cute? All of the little clothes pins. So this is gonna be one of my barns. And here's the barn window, it's pretty little blue. And then for the barn door, there's different options you can do. You can do a little mini block inside of the barn where it has um, like a, what's called an hourglass block in it, or you can just cut one piece of fabric. So I thought this fabric's perfect for that because it already has its little like X in it. So I just cut this to the size it's supposed to be and that will be my little barn door. Um, so working hard at breaking things down for you, trying to make it easier. So, um, you waste less fabric, waste less time, get more done quicker, easier. Um, so yeah, it's, it's super helps underground railroad by Eleanor Burns actually taught how to break it down that way. And it was so nice. And I, I love being organized. So I'm going to try to help you be organized as well. So that first meeting at Blakeman's, if you're local in Casper, I will help hold your hand, walk you through how to cut your fabric, how to organize it. I'll have all this stuff kind of available for you. Um, and then with your membership, you'll get access to all this. I will email you the PDF link. It will be in your private Facebook group so you can download it and print it wherever you are. Um, and it will have the syllabus in there of which blocks we're going to do which week. And yeah, just getting super organized this Saturday. I will be talking with my website designer, um, Taylor, to get everything finalized on the website. You can sneak on there right now, but don't purchase anything quite yet because um, it's not completely linked yet. So I don't know if it would work for you, but it will be ready on Saturday. I'm pretty sure. So I'm super excited about that. A lot of hard work in there. If you go into the shop on the website, it's journeybackquilts.com. Um, you can see my Amazon favorites. So you can um, click on that and order what you might need for this class. Um, with that, I am an affiliate with Amazon now. So you will help me out a little bit. I get a little commission off of those sales. So I would appreciate that as well. And um, let's see, what else is going on? Well, if you wouldn't mind, please sharing this video with your friends so that they can see Terry's quilting journey as well and hear more about the classes coming up, the memberships. Remember, with the membership, you get 20% off all of the shop items, 20% off long arming services. Um, you get 20% off quilt kits and patterns. You get free access to the current class that's going on online. And then you'll get 20% off any past um, videos and things um, if you haven't saved all of those. Videos. 
excuse my dog. Um, yeah, I think that might be it. So if you have any questions, um, any comments, please leave those in the box below. This week's video is on how to set up your sewing machine. So if you're brand new to sewing, this video is for you. It will be super helpful in getting um, the thread and the bobbin and all those kind of things that are on your sewing machine set up and ready to go. And that sewing machine is also linked in the Amazon um, store right now. But um, we are also getting hooked up with Blakeman Vacuum and Sewing, which has awesome machines in their store and online. So you can get an even better machine from them. So uh, just hang out with me for a while and we'll get all those links ready for you in case you're needing a new machine. Um, hope you have a great night and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.